Hey guys, and <laughs> talking to you from Warsaw, Poland. So for the last, it's been about two and a half weeks I've been here in Poland, mainly teaching, um, doing a few boot camps, and then obviously just hanging out as well. So far we've been to Warsaw, Gdansk, uh, then I went to Krakow, and then now back here in Warsaw. And just to give you guys a quick update, on how it's been because it's been very busy thus why a lot of the time was spent for the training and uh, not as much of you know video content has been released but we did shoot a lot so you will be seeing that in the near future but just to give you a sense in terms of you know how the dating scene is here in Poland in general um, I just have to say lots of opportunities you know we've been stressing this for many months to you guys and if you haven't yet come or made the plunge then I don't want to say you missed out yet but especially now during the summer um, it's still July it's a great time to be here and there's a lot of opportunities when I first came to Poland last year for the first time there already was plenty to begin with and then now as mentioned with the uh, with the current situation there's been an influx of obviously more people, um, not only in Warsaw and not only in Poland, but in other countries as well. But it seems like Poland has been one of the highest number of influx of newcomers uh, since the war began. And again, not making light of the situation um, as mentioned, but at the same time though, it has presented a number of opportunities and abundance. So, so far, I would say that um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, obviously, I don't, I don't know the exact figures, but I would say half or maybe more than half of like my approaching and definitely dating opportunities have come from Ukrainian girls. Um, some who've lived here for a number of years, but also some who obviously came in the last three, four, five months and obviously super receptive um very feminine just very fun to date so again there's been plenty of opportunities in each city that i've been to here in poland and again uh, i'm going to be here for one more week uh, and then off to the next destination but just wanted to give you guys a quick update on you know being here seeing it for myself and i can tell you guys that it's been um yeah quite eye-opening and it's probably one of the best places right now you know in the world to be doing this stuff uh to learn this stuff to come out even if you know you've had some experience if you want to come and test it for yourself uh plenty of opportunities i would still say probably warsaw is the best city and the highest volume obviously being the capital but there's plenty of other cities as well and uh that I didn't get to yet, um, probably not this year, but just based on the sample size of Warsaw, Krakow, and Gdansk, um, I would say it's really good. And especially if you go to maybe some of the smaller cities where your value is a little bit higher, uh, you can probably do um, you can probably do even better. But just sticking to the capital, Warsaw alone, again, plenty of opportunities all over the place, no matter what time, no matter what time of the day. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how it's been here in Poland. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and I have one more week left here. Uh, I'll probably be making a few more videos on, you know, experience, if there's any questions that come along the way. But just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know what I'm up to. So with that, obviously, if there's any questions, uh, leave any questions, comments down below or you can reach out to me personally. So again, signing out from Warsaw, Poland, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.